Well, hi there, and welcome to Die Trees. This is a Minecraft mod by Raker, which adds these things to the game. Uh, this is a blue die tree. Now, these trees will spawn absolutely anywhere in the game where normal trees will spawn, and they'll spawn with random coloured leaves, any of the standard Minecraft colours. So this one's a blue die tree, and you can see if you punch the leaves, you're going to get tree dyes out of it. Now these tree dyes are just the same as the normal standard Minecraft dyes. For the most cases, you can use them uh, in the place of the normal dyes in most recipes. So that includes things like colouring wools, and of course, um, in many of the mods which need the different colours for things. For example, you can use the black tree dyes in your Mistcraft world for making ink, things like that. The other thing you'll notice is that these things are also dropping saplings of the same colour as the leaves, and you can just plonk them down, hit them with bone meal, and grow them into a new tree. Now the wood that it comes with will be completely randomised between all the woods that are installed in your pack, so if you have other mods installed, I'm in a Feed the Beast mod pack, you'll get the different woods. So I've got cherry wood from Biomes of Plenty here, and canopy tree wood from the Twilight Forest. So it's a good way of getting the different wood types as well. So apart from these trees, which will spawn randomly in the various biomes, Dye Trees also adds its unique type of biome, which is this, a rainbow forest. Rainbow forests are forests full of dye trees. You'll also see that they contain a lot of animals, and the various sheep in them, as you can see, come with all the different coloured wools. So these are extremely good biomes if you find them. The other thing that you get in these biomes are these things. These are rainbow trees. Now, rainbow trees come in a completely standard size. You can see it here. It's a 4x4 four four base. Well, it's a big base. The trunk itself is 4x4, four four, which means that you can uh, chop up and go through it just like you would a jungle wood tree. They are made of oak wood. You can step up through it just like this to get to the top. They're standard size, they do have cross branch areas going out at a certain height in their look. Now when you chop one of these down, you're probably going to want to have a chest handy because you are going to get a big lag spike when all those leaves despawn. I just chopped one down and this is what I got out of it. You see you get a load of tree dyes in all the different colours. You'll get about three and a bit stacks of wood. You'll see it does drop the normal Minecraft dyes, as well as dropping the dye trees type dye. Okay. Also of note, it does drop some bone meal along with the white dye, so you get a source of bone meal. It does drop numerous arrows, I guess arrows? Apples, because I guess this is a type of oak wood. It'll also drop 17 golden apples in this case, so you're going to get golden apples off this tree. It's very powerful. The other thing it has done, as you can see, is it has dropped 12 rainbow saplings. That means that these rainbow trees are completely self-sustaining, because they're going to give you enough rainbow saplings to grow more of them, and they're going to give you bone meal to do it quickly. So these things are almost a bit over powered really. If you want to grow a rainbow sapling you just need a space where you can plant out 4x4 four four rainbow saplings, 4x4, four four, that's 2x2 two two rainbow saplings, just like that. Hit it with a piece of bone meal and you'll instantly get a new rainbow tree appearing. So very powerful if you find one of these rainbow forests. That is, however, all there is to the Die Trees mod. It's a quite small mod, but it does give you easy access to a lot of dyes. So, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the mod. 
Thank you very much for watching it, and I hope to see you next time.